Hey guys, welcome back to Token Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own VPN router. Now all you're going to need is a Raspberry Pi, I'd say 3B plus or newer, so 3B plus or 4. Um, and this works fine on my 3B plus, so you don't need like the top end Pi 4. So basically any new-ish Pi will work just fine for this. Secondly, you're going to want to connect it through your Ethernet to your, to your modem or router, or you know give it some sort of Ethernet connection so that it can do its thing. All right. And of course, all the other basic stuff, some way to inter interface with it. So mouse, keyboard, monitor or whatever. But this is going to be super basic. We're not going to talk about installation or anything like that. I assume at this point, you know how to use the basics of a Raspberry Pi. But this is going to be a very simple, easy and quick guide to get this all up and running. The only command we're going to need is this one that you see on screen now. I will have it in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. Um, and we're going to be used, doing everything from the Pi, so you don't need to have a secondary machine or anything to mess around with. We're just going to do it all from the Pi. So let's go ahead and get this process started. All right, so we're going to hit Enter, and then it's going to start. All we're going to do is keep hitting Y and Enter, Y and Enter, as it installs everything. This is very simple, easy, and quick. Um... This installation might take a couple minutes, but it's not going to be anything too crazy. And again, you're just going to hit Y and enter on everything. You do not need to, to to worry about anything else. Okay, I've done this a few times. It does work just fine on my Raspberry Pi 3B+. I don't have a Raspberry Pi 4, but I know this should probably work just fine on that as well. Okay, so this is a fun little project that you can do with your Raspberry Pi. If you're like me, you bought one a couple years ago, and it sat on a shelf because you didn't have a specific reason for this. Now today, with privacy and security and all that stuff becoming more relevant in our lives, having a VPN router is really handy. It allows you to put all of the, your digital traffic through it, and it becomes encrypted. Okay, so unlike other Wi-Fi routers, which I'm sure you could figure out how to do this too with those, but if you have a Raspberry Pi, you can create your own, and then you're not buying anyone else's product. You're literally just having your own self-made Wi-Fi router, which is really cool and fun, and you get to tell people, I built this Wi-Fi router myself, and it's protected through a VPN. Now, as this is installing, let me talk about some of the things. It's an easy installation, it's easy to configure, um, it's fun, and it gives you something to do with a Raspberry Pi, which, again, if you're like me, has just been sitting on a shelf. The one concern I have with this is range. All right, range is not very good, at least in my experience, okay? Um, it's in my bedroom, which might be part of the problem. I know that's not the best ideal spot for it, so when I'm in my bedroom, it's perfect, it works really great. Once I leave my bedroom, it gets cut like basically in half. And then if I'm on the first floor, it's actually kind of hard to connect to it. Um, and outside of that, there really is no no range. Okay, maybe if you put this in a more open area, it would be much better. But just keep that in mind that if you do this, definitely try it out for a bit and see how how it works out for you. Okay, it might not be the most practical, but it's definitely fun, easy. So it's worth a shot if you have one lying around. Now, I got this idea because I was watching another YouTuber. Um, I really like this YouTuber. I'm not going to name them. I'm not going to do anything like that. I don't want anyone thinking one way or the other because I really do enjoy their content and I like what they're doing. Now, they sell a whole bunch of different products, but one of the products they sell is a VPN router, and it's just a Raspberry Pi 4, okay? Now, they sell it for a good chunk of money, <clears throat> and once I realized it was just a Raspberry Pi 4, you know, the idea hit me that, hey, this... This can be done on basically any Raspberry Pi, so why not give it a try? So that's what I did last weekend. I just spent some time figuring this out, figuring out what worked for me, what didn't work for me, and I got it up and running. And so for much less than what he's charging for his, you can configure your own, and it's very, very simple. Trust me, it's not that bad. Now, the only other thing you'll need if you do want the VPN to work on this is you need to have a VPN itself. So you will have to purchase a VPN. Now, if you're going out to purchase one, make sure you get one that has OpenVPN, that supports OpenVPN. I'm pretty sure most of them, if not all of them, do. But just double check before you buy so that you don't get, you know, caught with your pants down, you know, so to speak. The one I use is PIA, or Private Internet Access, and they do support Open VPN. So that's what we're going to do. And again, you pick whichever one you prefer. I'm not saying that PIA is better or worse than any of the others. Um, in fact, uh, once my subscription runs out, I'm probably going to end up getting a different VPN. Not that I have any big problems or concerns. Okay, so now it's going to reboot, so the installation is done, so we're just going to let it reboot. But again, getting back to what I was saying with um, 
PIA. It's not that I have any real concerns or anything. Maybe I will buy them again, but again, just pick whichever one you prefer, whichever one you like, and just make sure it supports OpenVPN because we're going to need that, okay? So I'll be right back when this all is up and running. So see you in a sec. All right, so now we're on our VPN website. We have logged in, and we're going to the OpenVPN configuration generator, okay? So make sure you do this. On your VPN, it might look different. If you have PIA, it's going to look like this. And in PIA, once you log in, you go to Downloads. You click on OpenVPN configuration or configurator generator, whatever it's called, and you're going to go ahead and fill this out. So we're on a Pi, which is running Linux. We're going to make sure we select Linux on platform. And then when we look at our region, we want to select a, uh, a server that's close to us so we get good speed. Now, if you want to go international, you can do that. You can change all this, all these things to what you want. But I'm just going to pick uh, U.S. East. Um, and then you're just going to leave this on here because this is recommended. We're not getting complicated here. Of course, you can do more if you want to or you could do less if you want to. This is all up to you. I'm just showing you the basics on how to get started. And if you do this, it will work. If you want to get crazy with it, you can. But this is going to be a short, simple, clean, easy to do uh, setup. All right, so we have that file. Now we're going to get into our Pi. So if you want to get into the Pi, you do have to type in a IP address. Now there's going to be a static, or not static, a default IP address for this. Um, let me see if I can pull that up. I kind of don't have it on the top of my head. Give me one moment. All right, here we have it's 10.3.141.1. So 10. Dot three dot one four one dot what one. This is gonna bring us to our configuration for the 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 Pi Wi-Fi router. And our credentials are admin and secret for the password. All right, that is the default. So everyone's gonna have that, and I would suggest obviously changing that. So let's go ahead and look at these, the ones that we need to look at um, one at a time and go through them. All right, so first one we want to do is look at Hotspot. <clears throat> now, Hotspot, this is going to allow us to change the ID, so we can change the name to whatever you like right here, SSID. So this will be how it appears in your Wi-Fi tab on other devices. So you can change it to whatever you want. This is the default. You can change the wireless mode. So you can have all these different options, right? Um, 2.4 is going to give you more range, but it's going to be a lot slower. For whatever reason, on the desktop, I can't select AC 5 gigahertz. But when I log into this on, like, a phone, I can do that. So maybe after you configure it, you reconfigure it on your phone, or maybe you're just fine with this speed. It's up to you. Um, security, you want to definitely update this. So I like to do WPA, WPA2. Um, and then this is the password. So change me is the default password. So this is the password you would use to log in from another device to the Wi-Fi. You can change this to whatever you want. You could put like password uh, 1234. Um, of course, don't use that one. But you could change it to whatever you like. Something definitely more difficult than this, but something that you'll be able to remember. Right, and I don't think we're going to do anything else here. All right. And you just click save settings. Okay. So now that part is saved. So let's see, what else do we need to take a look at? So obviously we have our open VPN. This is the, you know, the big thing that we're here for. So this is how we're going to, um, this is how we're going to turn our Pi router into a VPN Pi router. All right. So what you need to do is put in your credentials here for username and password for your VPN and click on this browse, go to your downloads. And we downloaded that. Uh, v that open VPN file, that's what we need to do. We need to click that here. Now, once you put in your credentials and put that file in here, you want to hit save settings first. You do not want to say start. Save settings. That's going to save everything, and then your VPN will be able to work. So let me just log in, um, but we're going to go ahead and log in, and I'll be right back once I have all my credentials put in, and then I'll show you what happens when you hit save settings. All right, so be back in one moment. Okay, so we're back. I put in my credentials. I have that same file loaded up here. So we're gonna hit save settings and see what happens. And you can see everything is now loaded successfully. So now that everything is there, we just hit start open VPN. Give it a second, and our VPN is now up and running. So now we have a Wi-Fi router that has a password, an SSID, um, and an open 
uh, VPN. So we can encrypt all the data that goes through here. Um, I think there's just maybe one other thing that we want to change. So under authentication, um, this is for the configurator. You can change your username and you can change your passwords. Remember the default is admin and secret. So you would change that to whatever you want to be called. Change, type in secret and then type in your new password twice, save settings, and then you'll have your new authentication so that no one else who knows about this little thing can log in and change your configuration. Okay, so make sure that you do that um, before you leave here. Okay, I, I'm going to shut this down right after it's over so I don't need to worry about it, but you definitely want to change all these settings before you leave. Okay, and the last thing we will do is look at our system. So system, this is going to give us all our basic information. We've been up for eight minutes. It is, this is the model of the Raspberry Pi. And these are all of our specs. Now we can refresh to get, you know, updated numbers. As you can see here, we can reboot and we can shut down. Um, it's always a good idea after you change a whole bunch of settings to then reboot. And when you reboot, it'll totally like deactivate and then obviously reactivate. So we did all of that. Then we can hit the reboot button and it's going to reboot our whole Raspberry Pi. Now it will it will reboot and it will be available to join. So this is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below. But this is just a super basic how to get started with a Raspberry Pi VPN um, router. Okay, hopefully that was straightforward and easy for you guys to do. The big thing is you do have to have a VPN. You do have to have one that supports OpenVPN. You have to get your VPN file, or sorry, OpenVPN file, and then upload it to the configurator. And make sure you hit that save settings. If you don't hit save, it won't do anything. So you have to log in, upload the file, save the settings, then start the OpenVPN. And then you'll have a VPN router it's super easy super fun give it a try see how it works for you the only th other thing is after you have it set up join on your phone go to that um, ip address you know the 10.3 whatever um, and then change it to whatever speed you want because for whatever reason on the desktop i can't get to five gigahertz but on my phone it totally lets me do that and then the speed is much faster but range obviously suffers anyways that's going to be it for me let me know what you think in the comment section down below and i will talk to you all next time